Switch chat room, take one. Would you say that you have trust issues? Um, only sometimes, like on any day that ends in Y. I do, I feel like all of us kind of struggle with that. It depends on what situation, but in some degree, yes. I personally don't have trust issues. I think it really depends on the circumstance and who it is. But I think, I would say yes, I do, just a little bit. I don't necessarily think that it's as much like me trusting as it's like the people. Like I, cause I can trust just about anybody after like I know your name, but then like I, the second I start trusting it happens. So I don't have issues with starting the trust. I just have issues keeping the trust. I do have trust issues. I've been betrayed by a lot of people growing up, so it's definitely kind of gotten in the way of me meeting new people and kind of putting my trust in them as easily as it would come to other people. When is the time someone broke your trust and how did that make you feel? I think any person in general doesn't like when people lie to them, but that's like my like big no-no. Like you can do anything, but as long as you can like look at me and be like, hey, I did this, I'm going to choose to forgive you. I had a really close friend and I shared about anything with her. And at one point I finally got the courage to share something I had been struggling with. She promised not to tell anyone and that the first thing she did was like tell our entire friend group just about everything that I had been through. That's a lot of where my trust issues lie in. Do you think that once trust is broken, it can be repaired? I think that one of the like biggest things within trust is like you can't hold one thing that somebody does against the entire person that you uh, that they are if like we do something wrong and we expect God's grace to be met with us like the second after if I do something that hurts you and you come to me and say hey I hurt you like we should be expectant that like that's not the person that they are that that's a decision that they made at that time I think you always have to give them grace because you know God gives us grace you know thousands and thousands of times so why shouldn't we do that for other people I believe trust can be built back. It just may take some time. Yeah, you definitely have to work to build that trust up with another friend. If you're the one who broke it, if someone else hurt you, then they need to make themselves open to you and just be vulnerable with how they hurt you and not kind of get all defensive. You have to bring those defenses down and be willing to admit your mistake. And I think that's whenever the trust can start being built after it gets confessed. One of the leaders at my church, she had brought up the point of like, I came to her and I was like, I'm really struggling with trusting people like this really upset me. And I think that I'm going to have to end this friendship because it's like, I can't, like, I don't want to be their friend. I don't want to look at them like this really is bothering me. And she reminded me of like, hey, I know that I've had people come to me saying similar things like with you hurting them. She was like, so why is that not fair whenever they do it? Like. How can you be like, oh, like, I didn't mean to, like, that's an accident, like, they need to forgive me and trust me. But then whenever somebody does that to you, then, like, you're just, like, ready to drop it and not be their friend and not trust them. Do you think broken trust with people affects the way that we trust God? I think if it was a really a, a very big, you know, deep trust that was broken and hurt, then I think it definitely can because... Sometimes people have a hard time differentiating, like, you know, people from God. Sometimes it's like, sometimes since we're just on earth, we just think God's just like sometimes just a human or just like kind of one of us. And so we think, oh, since somebody broke our trust and we think God can too, we don't really picture that God's actually, you know, a different being, you know, than just human. I think sometimes we love people so much that like if we are trusting somebody, we love them, right? And so like you have that like, love for them and so they break your trust and then it's like oh my gosh this person that i care for so much hurt me the world's shaking everything's gonna end everything's over and i think from there like i pull back from god a lot whenever something like that happens god is our father so a lot of i've had a lot of my friends i try to get them to give christianity a chance a lot of them have been hurt by their fathers that gives that just adds a whole nother level of difficulty for them wanting to put that trust in god what evidence have you experienced in your life that motivates you to keep trusting God? To me personally, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't failed me ever. You know, he never will because that's what the Bible says. And so that, that kind of just reasserts my trust in him. Uh, I would say just help me through the hard times. Like when I'm thinking of doing something bad, he just helped me realize that 
I'm better than that. I think that something that was like really comforting to me was that any time like everything would start getting stressful and overwhelming and I was hurt by somebody or maybe like my workload was too much and like I didn't feel that I was capable of like, taking care of it, then I was always met with like a piece. I feel like that helps whenever you're like, oh, I'm at this really low point and I just like, I don't even know why I tried telling you everything, you know? Like, are you even listening? Are you even real? And then you just like get met with that and I think that that goes in once you experience that, it goes into every circumstance. You're like, you know, I don't know what you're doing right now. And, you know, I don't really understand why this is happening, but I'm choosing to trust you because this is how you showed up for me. I mean, to get really personal, I know my mom had really bad heart issues for years, and I really thought that she, I was going to lose her. And I decided to put my trust in God, and my family and I continued to pray every single night and we didn't see a breakthrough. And then finally last year, she finally got completely healed and she went through a dangerous surgery and it went completely fine. And that just kind of sealed the deal. Like there's no way I can't trust that there's no way that there's not a God. Like my trust is in him for whatever. What are some ways you can lean into trusting God even more? Just my thoughts and overthinking different situations or problems that I'm in instead of just like thinking about it so much, just saying, hey God, this is yours. I'm not gonna try to handle it, you can handle it. So I struggle with anxiety a lot and I think that a thing that I know, but a lot of times that I don't necessarily like put into my thought process is whenever the Bible tells us like, you know, the Lord doesn't give you a spirit of anxiety, He gives you a sound mind. And yet again, it's something that as Christ followers, like a lot of us know that, that's a scripture that we're told anytime we're like, hey, I'm feeling really anxious. Someone's like, oh, you have a sound mind. Like that's what God's given you. But actually like putting on your belt and your helmet and your shield and strapping up and getting ready to go. What's something you learned from this conversation? I overthink and think I'm the only one who kind of struggles with trust issues. Whenever this is kind of opening my eyes to see that I'm not the only one who struggles with this, especially whenever it's things like anxiety and I can put more of my trust in others than I think that I can, especially if God's given me people and a good community around me. I think the biggest takeaway is that just knowing that God's not going to ever break your trust. And so understanding that that relationship with God is the most important thing over any relationship with any other people or anything like that. For me, it was kind of like an eye opener because like, yes, I struggle with trust, but I also understand that it's not as bad as like how other people struggle with trust. And so it's like a reminder to me of like, you know, be cautious and be patient with people. I would say if you don't have any trust, just to look up to God and just trust Him. Who is someone that you want to work to restore trust with? Definitely my old friend group. I need to work to restore trust with a friend. My friend. My dad.